Now, before we get into this, this video is all about mental health. So if you're not here for it, then now is your chance to turn around. Still here? Good. Let's get going. Hello, my name is Basti. Welcome. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. You see, once upon a time, I was a small baby penguin. And back then, I wasn't really the confident, super cool, smooth-voiced penguin that I am today. I was... I was like a lot of people. I was awkward, shy, introverted. And I didn't really like people much. And nothing's really changed since then. I still struggle meeting people. I still feel almost sick when going new places alone. And I still can't carry a normal conversation unless we have tons of common interests. But Basti, what the heck is this video? And why is your actual face on my screen? This, my dear viewer, is me so far out of my comfort zone, I'm unsure I'll ever find it again. But that is also one of the reasons I'm making this video in the first place. I want to talk about something important. And I don't think the silly penguin would make the subject matter justice. Although, with that said, we are going to see the penguin a fair bit. The topic of today's video is mental health, and I would like to share my two cents about it. Today, October 10th, is World Mental Health Day. And so I thought, why not put the silly away for just one video and talk? I struggle a lot with anxiety in my day-to-day -day life. Like when I arrived on my first day at my day job, I arrived 30 minutes early deadly afraid to be late on the first day. And that is kind of normal. But what's not entirely normal is that I spent those extra 30 minutes sitting in my car overthinking everything. I was unsure of which door to use to enter the building. I didn't know who I was supposed to introduce myself to. I didn't know how I was going to introduce myself and and I just wanted to run away. And I was so close to doing it. I was so close to running away. On the first day, I had gotten the job. I was there, outside. And I almost just went back home. To safety. You see, in my mind, I was even doubting whether I could handle the job at all. And it's not like it's a complicated job. Or that when I walked in, then maybe they would all laugh and just... Say that hiring me was a mistake. They don't need me. And it sounds so, so silly and strange to say it out loud, but it's a real problem. You see people, I might look and act confident, and that is because I am. I am comfortable in my own skin. I know I have lots of cool skills that people wish they had, and I even think I look pretty good most of the time. But that doesn't stop the anxiety. For me, it can show itself in many different ways. I suffer from what my therapist calls general anxiety disorder, meaning I can get super anxious about the smallest of things. And if you don't know, one of the things about anxiety that people who do not overly struggle with it might not know is that once you start stressing over something, it's extremely easy to fall into a rabbit hole where you start stressing over other completely unrelated stuff. And once that happens, you're one step closer to a panic attack. And those are not fun. You see, it's not that easy to convince yourself that you're actually not dying when you feel like you can't breathe and your heart starts beating like a percussionist at a snare drum competition. And it's usually around that time that my brain so kindly starts to try to figure out what kind of deadly bodily ailment has caused all of these symptoms instead of just taking accountability, just like a three-year-old caught in a cookie jar, but way less cute. Also, a quick thing, I just wanted to share my struggles a bit and let you have a peek behind the curtains of Basti. This video is just a way for me to talk about things that I find important. And I won't do this a lot. Next time you see me, it will be the same old silly penguin guy building silly buildings in the block game, okay? 
But today, as I mentioned earlier, is World Mental Health Day. Organized by who? Yes, who? But not the screwdriver wielding, swashbuckling, time traveling kind, but the World Health Organization kind. But a doctor is still a doctor, and the world still needs their help. This year, their focus is on mental health at work. Because it's essential for governments, employers and the organizations which represent workers and employers and other stakeholders responsible for workers' health and safety to work together to improve mental health at work. Actions to address mental health at works should be done with meaningful involvement of workers and their representatives and persons with lived experience of mental health conditions. But don't just take my word for it. That is literally what it says on their website, which I encourage you to go and take a look at. I will link the site in the description down below where you can go and check them out and see more about their goals and missions. My mission today is just to talk about mental health and my struggles with it, to show someone who might need it that they are not alone. Because growing up, I absolutely thought that I was the only one struggling with these types of problems. You can call it main character syndrome, ignorance or whatever you want. The fact is I had never heard of anyone struggling the way I did. But the world has changed since then for better or worse. Nowadays, mental health is a way more widely discussed topic and information can be found by a quick search term on Google. Unfortunately though, that has also given a rise to a wave of misinformation and false claims. I have, through scrolling social media, seen tons of videos about curing depression, ADHD and how all you need to do is just smile more. Or just stick through it. It will fix itself. It's temporary. And therapy is some real beta shit. I think that sending a message like that in today's world where suicide is one of the leading causes of death is absolutely insane. And if you are having those kinds of thoughts, please find help. I will provide a link to a website that should be able to give you a helpline to call in your country. But don't just trust anything I say in this video or ever. Do your own research. I am not a therapist. I will never be a therapist. And nor am I going to give you any good solutions other than links to websites. I unfortunately cannot help you. Heck, I can't even help myself. All that I can do is just provide a way for you to escape reality for a while and maybe give you a chuckle. I do hope to one day grow a community where people can escape together, but I don't want anyone to try to find actual help from me, my videos or my community. As harsh as it may sound, I don't think a creator or a group on the internet is a good way to find help. Now don't get me wrong here, it is a fantastic tool to find friends, to find escape, or to find people just like you who are struggling in the same way that you are. But it's not therapy. And I really don't think it should be. Now I am sure that there are great therapists out there on the internet like Healthy Gamer GG, but therapy is something really personal and it should be. And I really don't think you can replace the one-to-one heart-to-heart therapy session with the internet. Although with that being said, finding help is absolutely not easy. I have been trying to get help for years, but out here in the frozen wasteland of the north of Sweden, you'll be more likely to find Santa Claus and his reindeers than a good therapist. And I bet there is amazing help to find on the internet. I have heard of things like better help, which should be an amazing first step to take. But I have never tried it myself, so I would take that information with a grain of salt. And so, Basti, if you can't help me, then what is the entire point of all this? Well, the point, my dear beautiful internet viewer, is that you are not alone. There are others struggling like you and like me in different ways, in different places, from the blistering nether to the frozen hell of Sweden. Heck, from the comment section down below of this video 
to the International Space Station. There are people struggling everywhere. And maybe, just maybe, we can find some comfort and companionship through the fact that everybody struggles with something. Big or small, short or tall, you, my dear viewer, are not alone. And neither am I. And so, before this video ends and everything once again grows silent, I wish to leave you with a short time lapse and a constant reminder. Whoever you are, I wish you a good day, morning, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. Just stay well out there, my friends.